liberates. The word of the Lord empowers. The word of the Lord is filled with revelation. The word of the Lord is the knowledge of God. So we need to have that consciousness when we come together. To know we are learning. In spite of thanksgiving. To understand more what this simple lifestyle means. And I want you to write this down. Thanksgiving exposes gratitude. Thanksgiving exposes gratitude and takes the ownership of what is happening in your life away from you, from your hands into the hand of another. Gratitude is to come to someone else that you believe have done something for you. Gratitude is when, for instance, illustratively, when a banker, for instance, that goes to work early in the morning and does all her work, comes to church and said, I got promoted yesterday. But the banker is not thinking about the number of hours he or she may have spent working. Because she knows that there might be other people who may put in more hours, but they are not promoted at work. So she comes and says, it's because of Jesus. Invariably, she's saying that it's not by power, it's not by might that I bought that car. I may have spent money buying it, but it comes from the Lord. So it takes ownership. The problem sometimes in life is that we all want to feel we have a hand in what happens in our life. Want to feel, I made this happen. I worked hard. I got that vision. That vision is mine. But smart people knows that the vision of Pharaoh didn't come from Pharaoh. It came from God. Smart people understand that when Columbus went to the United States, she was, he was also looking for a homeland for the Jewish people. That it was the hand of the Lord that guided them to the U.S. Smart people understand that even though I revel in, in, in the fact that I'm married, but that marriage comes from God. It takes ownership away from your hand. And the thing with taking ownership away from you is it makes you less prideful. It takes pride away from you. It takes, it creates a humble house. It makes you humble. Because you know it's not by power or by might, but that it comes from the Lord. It makes you walk with humility. You might still walk straight. But you know where your strength comes from. And that's one of the reasons why I love David. I love David in the scripture. There are two people I love most in the scripture. Actually, one is Moses. The other is David. I love David because he's relatable. He doesn't look humble. But you will be shocked. But before God, David is so humble. That he knows that every Gary I eat. Every Amala, if you are fearful, I may have bought it, they may have cooked it, but it came from him. That without him, I'm nothing. We are not sitting because of vision. We are not sitting because I came. We are not sitting because I fast. We are not sitting here because I pray. We're speaking here. We're sitting here now because God, before the foundations of the earth, had ordered this moment into our lives. I only cruised in. I only showed up because I believe. You only show up. And because you believe, when he says run, you run. When he says stop, you stop. Because you know it's not by power. It's not by mind. It comes from the Lord. 